A man wearing glasses and a black, Van Powers, shirt is seated at a desk, holding a smartphone in his left hand. He has a blue sleeve on his right arm. On the looking towards the camera with a slightly perplexed expression. The monitor continues <laughs> no to display the desert scene with a motorcycle. That's crazy. The man is now looking towards the right side of the scene, away from the camera, and appears to be speaking or reacting. Peace, which was previously showing a video of him, has now switched to displaying oh, a close-up image. It knew it was he a video of me. He is now also holding a larger black rectangular device in his left hand. It is no secret that security cameras kind of suck. It should know that the shadow on the ground isn't an actual person. So what if your security camera wasn't terrible? What if your camera could tell you everything you need to know in a single notification? Something like ChatGBT in a camera. Well, Incarnify sent me this smart AI camera, claims to be truly intelligent, and even has what I would call a visual transcriber. Now, okay, well, okay well, wait, hold on, I know. Another AI thing, gross. I said the same thing. This one might actually be useful. Let me explain. Okay, let me explain. Now, obviously there's an app that you interface with the camera. Again, beta, some stuff doesn't work. It's currently functional-ish. In the app, I go to the AI, AI live monitoring, set your parameters and boom, done. So not only can it tell you what's important, you can also tell it what to look out for, essentially eliminating false positives altogether. For example, if I want this camera to alert me only if someone has a package or only if someone's just lingering or if they have a hat and shorts on, that is my doppelganger. I need to know he's on the property so I can alert authorities immediately or even maybe if they're dancing. I don't know. We'll see. Now the notifications which is a huge part of this camera. I mean, just look at these alerts I have on my phone. A person walking in the yard or a person walking in the driveway between a white SUV and red pickup truck or a person dressed in a dark shirt and shorts is visible stepping forward near the garage opening. If this person committed a crime, you already have a description of the perpetrator right there in the notification. And the camera will interpret these notifications and these scenes into priorities yellow for general basic stuff and nonsense like this and red for actually important stuff like someone holding a freaking knife and again the summary is absolutely spot on these alerts are actually useful instead of getting that motion detected notification and watching each clip to see what happened the camera tells me what happened i don't even have to unlock my phone to know exactly what's going on possibly the coolest thing i have seen in a good while is the visual interpretation. Think of it as visual transcribe. Now your phone can easily transcribe words and put that into text, but this will take a live view and audibly tell you what's happening. The person is holding a phone in their left hand and a small black device in their right. The phone and a neon on air sign that glows purple and blue with blue LED lighting illuminating the desk's edge. The man it is holding breathe. a blue cylinder. They then pick up another phone from the desk and operate it with both hands, holding it horizontally. The video on the large monitor transitions from the e-bike scene to show a person's face. Essentially, if I was blind, my cameras can still tell me what's going on. From an accessibility perspective, I absolutely love it. And I don't actually know if this is something that really exists anywhere else. Now, I told you guys this thing was actually smart, and it really is. So because you get these smart summaries, when you need to find that clip, you can just search keywords and it'll pull up the clip for you. Oh yeah, there's a guy walking around with a knife, but I don't remember what day that was and I don't want to go through every single clip and find it. Just search knife. Oh, there it is. Something I noticed with moving this in so many different places is that it understands the setting that it's in, its location. For example, it knows this is a yard. It knows this is a cluttered garage, which it is. Sorry. Yes, I know. I'm gonna. I'm fixing it. I'm on it. Chill. Okay, now the subscription. It's probably what you're curious about. You get a hundred credits every month, up to five summaries a day with the free version. Everything else will need a subscription. So unless you're running a business and have a bunch of activity in front of the camera all day, you should be fine with the free version. Another con that I'm noticing is the view angle is pretty narrow. 
it's not a very wide field of view, which means you need to put your camera further away, which is sometimes may not be possible. So another issue I see is it takes too long for the AI to kick in and register that someone's there. It's like a printer thinking if it wants to print or not. So when the AI actually registers a hit on something, the summary it gives isn't perfect. And it kind of depends on where you're putting the camera. It, it kind of assumes you're putting it in a clear scene, putting it in my cluttered garage. It keeps thinking I'm a small, dark, four legged animal. Ouch. And then sometimes in the same scene, I'm a person. So that's a limitation there. Make sure you're in a very clear environment or it will confuse the AI. But other than these sort of like edge cases, the, the AI recognition with the summary is the best part of this entire thing. And I see what they're going for now. Like, I, I get it. I can find what I'm looking for easily. I don't have to dig through every single clip. If you are blind or you have poor eyesight or you can't just watch the camera, but you still want to know what's going on, the camera can literally just talk to you and tell you exactly what's going on. When the camera can tell you exactly what's happening from a single notification, it saves time. No more false positives. And even if there is an event, you don't actually have to spend time watching the whole video. The summary itself is absolutely spot on. This is something that no other camera can really do. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I never actually talked about the hardware. It's fantastic. Excellent battery life, up to six months of battery, and I haven't seen the battery level drop in over three weeks, so that's kind of crazy. That's possibly the strongest magnet I've ever seen. Stick it to any metal surface, or you can use the screw mount. You can get it with a USB-C solar panel, and you guys don't even understand how useful that little solar panel is. It's amazing. Overall, hmm. I like what I see. I like what I see. I like where they're going with this. When this is production ready, all the big security cam players will be copying this model. Mark my words. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you interested in something like this? Again, Kickstarter in the description if you want to check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.